Okay. Now that we're done with the wheels, we're going to do the fin values and ailerons. The ailerons are these pieces on the main wings which make the plane roll by moving, and the elevators are the ones on the back which make it which make it pitch. We're going to use the 150 by 025 pieces. I think it's actually written 025 by 150, and we're going to uh, we're going to use those for the ailerons. So go ahead and spawn two of those for the ailerons. And if you notice, these wings are slanted up, so how can we attach them perfectly to the wings? Well, we're going to use my, our easy precision tool and grab it by the upper uh, left corner, whichever corner it is in the video for you, and then, and then attach it to the very inside bottom corner of the wing. That way we have it below the wing, about an inch or so, the in-game unit. And, but now if you notice it's perfectly level with the ground, so how do we tilt it to the same level of the wing? Well, this is where the stacker tool comes in. We already have it in the right place behind, but we don't have it in the right place using the stacker tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, stack it up, up, and then we're going to lean it just like we did before. So on this side, I think it's negative one just whatever it says in the video. I believe we have it rolled at negative one. I just tried to use the wrong value for some reason, but it's negative one, so then just go ahead and roll it to that. And then if you notice, it's too high now, just by a little tiny bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start retracting it until it's perfectly even. So at first I try like negative uh, 0 0.1 or something, and I keep on going down until it's as even as I possibly can get it to be. I just keep going down one until it's even. I do this for a little while, you can just watch because I'm not going to get rid of it. I think eventually I settle on uh, negative 0 0.7, but I'm not, or maybe, I think it's negative 0 0.8 actually, now that I think about it. So just get yours as even as you can, it doesn't need to be super even, I just wanted it to be as perfect as possible. There, that's pretty good, whatever. Anyway, once we're uh, done with that side, now we go to the other side, and all we have to switch is we have to switch the 1 to negative 1, just like we did before, to swap the angle to the other direction. And it, all the other values should already be right, so now it's already pretty even. Now we can just go ahead and remove the uh, bottom piece that we stacked off of, since it was just a guide. Okay, now we have to add the, uh, the little uh, things that stick up to attach the hydraulic lengths to, to move the uh, ailerons. I just used the, uh, little, the little blocks, which are like uh, 0, 0.025 by 0.05, I think. Just look in the video. <laughs> and then I just went ahead and welded those up to the wing. I welded them, uh, I welded them about three or four over. I weld them right in the center. It doesn't really matter where they are, but you should probably put them in the center to get it to be the most efficient. Anyway, okay, now that we're done with that, now we can go ahead and add our, uh, add our weights. I believe they both weigh 10. They should both equal about the same weight. That's going to give you a nice hydraulic uh, strength without actually having to change the weights after adding the hydraulics, which can sometimes be troublesome. So I'm just going to make them both 10. Gives us nice efficiency and nice uh, a nice weight. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to also going to play the place the seat in this video. I always have to use the car seat because the other ones do this weird glitchy thing with my uh, video card or something where it'll lock up the view and ruin everything I'm working on. Well this one doesn't because it has that weird thing where you, when you enter it it moves the camera a little bit. I know one other person has to do this. I don't know what it's related to but I don't use smart snaps on my entities so I just I just place it by eye. As long as it's about where it is in the video, it doesn't, you could probably even put it in a different place. It's not going to, the weight of the seat isn't tremendous, so it's not going to change it that much. I have it about where the front of the seat is just past the second little notch on the uh, tile wing. Just, just, it, just eye it. 
you know, it's easy to tell where the middle is because the seat's about as wide as the plate, as the thing. And I just went ahead and welded it. I actually welded it straight to the tail, so I did it there, but just welded it to all the wings and the vertical stabilizer and the fuselage just to get a nice strength weld. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of dogs barking, so uh, bear with me. In fact, I'm going to pause this really quick. Okay, all right, now we're going to do the uh, fin values for these uh, wings. They might be talking in the background. Ignore it. Uh, so then go ahead and pull out your fin tool. Change the efficiency to about 20. 20 is a good value for wings. Have lift by plane normal on, and then uh, make sure flat surface dynamics. Don't use wind and don't use thermal client or whatever. Then just hit both the wings, then open up the fin tool again. Change the efficiency. I mean, first change it to no lift because these are just stabilizers. Change the efficiency to about 50, and then have the same check boxes checked. And hit both the horizontal stabilizers with that, or the elevators, I guess they are. And then for the vertical stabilizer, I'm going to use 60, but the rest of the values are the same with no lift. And then hit the side of that. Then for both of these, I'm going to use the same value as the vertical stabilizer with no lift and 60 efficiency. Now we're done with the, uh, with the fin on the plane. Okay, now that we're uh, done with that, I'm going to weld both of these upright things that hold the hydraulics to the uh, fuselage to reinforce them more. I did that kind of out of order, but whatever. Okay, uh, now that we're done with that, we need... I almost forgot to ball socket. That's why this just randomly added into the end of the video. Just take out your ball socket tools. Use default values as long as they, they're uh, correct. And then just ball socket the tops, the very corners, directly to the wing right next to them. Put two on each wing is is good enough. That's going to make it so they can actually pivot. Just ignore ignore the hydraulics because that's a little ahead in the video. I just forgot to put those in. Anyway, that's going to conclude the uh, fin and the uh, install installation of the actual uh, ailerons. Anyway, go ahead and go to the next part and then we will do the hydraulics and then the expression work and I think then we'll almost be done.